I'm sorry that people are so jealous of me, but I can't help it that I'm popular. Hi guys, Garrett here with a, another episode of Bad Choices Made Easy. And uh, before I uh, get to the episode, which is going to be about meditarianism and vegetable rights, I'd like to uh, just talk about the gameplay slightly. Um, I got this last Saturday. I end up being MVP on my team, at least. I forget, but I fucking do amazing. And, um, kind of start off, uh, me and my friend Chad are playing. We're getting our asses kicked. Uh, the team isn't doing that good. We're losing around the first half of the game. And then the last half, me, Chad, and the rest of my team, uh, turn everything around. And, uh, we win the game in the end, which is really fucking awesome. Um, probably due to Take me using the Lancer and, uh, Boom Shield combo where no one can shoot me from the front and I can shoot them at really far distances. Uh, fuck a lot of people up doing that. Um, but let's get to the video about Mediterranean and vegetable rights. And the first thing you need to consider, uh, when being a Mediterranean is... Meat's dead when you eat it. Vegetables are not dead when you eat it. A lot of the time, vegetables have been picked and sitting there dying, still alive, in pain for weeks and weeks on end. Like, it's just terrible that something has to suffer for weeks to even months on end, waiting for someone to eat it alive in the end or boil it alive. Like, that is just terrible. Meat? It's dead when you eat it. When you kill a cow, when you shoot a deer, it's dead. It's not alive. It can't feel pain anymore. That's why it's more ethical and humane to eat meat and be a meditarian. And just cut out vegetables altogether. And, um, next thing I hear from a lot of vegetarians is that fur and other animal products you wearing them is murder. And, um, I I'd like to refute this by, um, reading out the definition of murder. Objective captured. And just give me one second. I will look this up. Murder definition. The unlawful premeditated killing of one human being by another. So technically, fur is not murder because murder is the definition of a premeditated uh, killing of a human by another human being. Animals are not humans. Animals are animals. Humans are humans. Humans are technically animals, but we're classified differently in uh, the law and courts. So, um, if you are trying to charge someone for murder of an animal and or wearing fur, it's going to get thrown into court. And you also might look like a complete, utter asshole and kind of crazy. So yes, I've now refuted that. Fur is technically not murder. If anyone says fur is murder, Tell them they're a fucking idiot and they don't know what they're fucking talking about. Next thing. Okay. Today is 420. And uh, there's that could mean two things to people. Number one, it's Hitler's birthday, so you got all the fucking crazy skinhead fucktards celebrating that. and That is just fucking stupid. Next thing you have is National Marijuana Pot Smoking 420 dope ass whatever the fuck thing basically a bunch of people smoke pot at 420 on 420 and then they go and eat a lot of chips and stay till like 2 in the morning at Montana's if you ever work there you know what I'm talking about um but yeah it's 420 today and I, I have a couple suggestions on what you should do instead of smoking pot today would you like to hear them of course you would Number one, this is a personal favorite of mine and many other college students. You get pissed drunk. It's way more fucking fun than getting high. And uh, if you get chronic migraines like me, if you get drunk the night before, you're not going to get a migraine the next day. And a lot of time you won't even get a hangover. So that's a big bonus. Next thing, marijuana. Anytime you do take that, you get really fucking thirsty. I, I, I don't like being thirsty all the time. I can drink like eight bottles of water after. I'm still thirsty, so no, it's not a good thing. So other things to do instead of smoke pot today, because you're killing innocent animals or you're killing innocent plants. That marijuana, 
killed that plant. It's not good. That pot was still alive days on end while it was drying out. You wouldn't fucking like cut someone's legs off, hang them, uh, or you wouldn't cut someone's arms off and hang them upside down and let them dry out for a couple days. That would be like torture. You wouldn't do that. It's mean. Why'd you do it to pot plants? And um, some other things you could do. Cocaine. Speed. Crystal meth. LSD. Sniff paint. Play the choking game. Just all good options instead of smoking pot because you're not harming any animals in the process. Sure, you're fucking yourself up pretty good, but you know. If you're willing to huff paint. Yeah. Probably don't deserve. Yeah, I won't even touch that. <laughs> um, next thing. And there's a total of 9 billion chickens, 2 billion pigs, and a billion cows on this earth at any given time. If we stop uh, eating meat altogether, where the fuck are those 9 billion chickens, 2 billion pigs, and 1 billion cows gonna go? Please tell me. We're not gonna take care of them anymore. We can't milk these because a lot of vegetarians and vegans do not want you to milk cows because it apparently is cruel even though they do need to be milked because uh, they will back up and it causes a lot of problems. Me being on a farm at one point in my life, I do know this. Second thing, when I was a kid, I saw little piglets and I thought they are so cute and wondered how people could eat them. But then they grew up to be pigs and then became ugly and mean. And I kind of wanted them to die so I could eat them. Because bacon is really fucking good. Um, but another thing with the whole uh, 9 billion chickens and all that sh uh, shit. Chickens, before they got to the numbers that we uh, have them today and they, before they became domesticated, were this fucking obscure fucking bird from the forests of China. Only numbering in the thousands. We said, hey. These birds are mighty tasty. We should eat them. And it's because of that, they now outnumber us. If we didn't eat them, they'd be this obscure fucking bird that no one knows about. Because of them, they're the one of the most dominant animals on this planet. Just think of that. Next thing. Uh, endangered species. If we, if we want to save endangered species, we should start eating them. Mass processing and eating stuff. Dodo, 150 years ago when it went extinct, we should have had McDonald's there to say, we need a Dodo sandwich. They would have been saved, and they would have outnumbered us right now, most likely. And uh, next thing's Darwinism and evolutionary theory that meat helped our brains grow. And this has been scientifically proven that um, one of the reasons why we are where we are now is because our ancestors started to eat large quantities of meat. You can tell that by our wisdom teeth. And um, basically, our ancestors eating a shit ton of protein helped us to evolve, get stronger, and it helped our brains to grow and function much better. And if you look at a lot of uh, animals in the animal kingdom, herbivores tend to have smaller, less sophisticated brains than a lot of the carnivores. Although this could just be because carnivores kind of need to be smarter, plan out things, while herbivores just have to run away. I'm not going to touch that, and vegetarians are not stupid people, can be a little bit mean, and some of the smartest people I know are vegetarian, and they are really nice, so... Okay, most modern medicine is developed from, uh... Uh, it's either developed from animals, such as, like, penicillin, animals, and, um, it's a lot of the time is tested on animals. So without us testing on animals, we are, uh kind of wasting human life. Even if we have 7 billion of us, I still don't want to see humans die, because I'm kind of a human. I, I don't want to see our species go into obscurity like those fucking forest chickens. Next thing, I'm gonna get into PETA. It's full of crazy people. They have a lot of celebrities backing them, and they also fund the Animal Liberation Front and say that they're good people, even though they're terrorists that have been known to firebar um, and assault people over animal rights and animal testing facilities. Another very famous uh, vegetarian was Adolf Hitler, and he was one of the first animal rights activists ever. Yes, the fucking Nazis that uh, killed 6 billion Jews and caused a war that killed 80 billion people, 60 to 80 billion people. 
were animal rights activists. Kind of mixed priorities there, do you not think? <laughs> but some good people to fall. The Vikings, Spartans. Vikings and Spartans were really good people. Strong people, kicked ass, and they were much better to women at uh, the times that they existed than most people. So if you're a Mediterranean, you're most likely to be all for women's rights. Next thing... Da -da -da -da, lists... Celebrities. Some celebrities you should follow. Ted Nugent, Sarah Palin, Homer Simpson, and the hyenas from the, uh, the hyenas from the Lion King. Those are all proud Mediterraneans and good people. You should follow them. Some people to avoid. Pamela Anderson. You know, we should all go club a seal just to piss Pamela Anderson off, even... Well, yeah, sure, baby seals are cute, but there sure is a fucking lot of them. And people up in none of it, in Northwest Territories, they need uh, to kill them to survive. That's their food. Also, don't follow Tommy Lee, Lisa Simpson, Steve-O, or Alec Baldwin. Just ignore them all together, don't follow any of their stuff, and don't support them anymore. They're bad. And that just wraps about up uh, Bad Choices Made Easy, Mediterranean and Vegetable Rights. Have a nice day, I'll see you later.